area, a big problem area for us because that the other part of the code wasn't scaling. Uh, so we we built Flock from scratch. It's a it's a scalable distributed data graph database that is currently stores 13 billion edges and serves up to 100,000 reads per second at, at peak. Um, so that's very exciting. We've started open, open sourcing that project just in the last couple weeks. Uh, another scalability project is uh, what we call Snowbird, which is moving to Cassandra for our tweet storage, and which is going to enable not just more scalability, but more rapid development. And Ryan King, the leader of that project, is going to be talking about that tomorrow at Hack Day, if you're interested in that. Um, those are just a couple of the projects that, that we've both implemented or in the process of implementing to achieve much, much more massive scalability. Um, on the quality of service side, we've, we've made a ton of progress. We've, in the last six months, reduced 500 errors by two-thirds um, during time when traffic has doubled. So that's pretty good. Um, we've reduced tweet deliveries failures by two orders of magnitude by rewriting some core um, parts of the service. And, in, and we've also at the same time shortened tweet delivery time. So if a user has millions of followers, it used to take a few minutes to get all their tweets out. Now it takes um, less than a minute. And um, we've just killed lots of outstanding bugs that have plagued us for a long time. So we're, we're happy with this project progress, not nearly satisfied, but quality of service will continue to be a big focus for us. Um, so on the rapid development point, uh, our goal is really to, to enable our team to build on Twitter as quickly as possible at scale. So there are a lot of challenges to that. Um, and that's just something that every company needs to go through. One of the things that we've been working on a lot lately is, is our release infrastructure. Uh, it, once you have a lot of engineers and a lot of servers to deploy code to, release, releasing that code uh, becomes a bottleneck sometimes. So we're doing a bunch there. One example I'm going to talk about is something we call murder, uh, which is not as bad as it sounds. We have a, we have a thing for bird, bird names, if you didn't notice. Uh, we're kind of running out of it, but uh, so this was a cool project because one of the steps in deploying, of course, is transferring files to all the servers, and we have right now have hundreds and hundreds of servers, and um, just transferring the files was taking a long time. We like to release many times a day. We're all about rapid iteration and rapid deployment, and so this was slowing us down. Turns out there is a fast way to send files to many computers at once. It's called BitTorrent. So one of our engineers, Larry Gaeta, had this inside and on the side he wrote um, a, a tool to use BitTorrent to transfer lots of files. And it took the average time from 40 minutes down to 12 seconds. So we've also open sourced that project. And it's just one example of the stuff we're doing on the, on the release side of, of supporting rapid development. So on the product side, um, our first priority is, is friction-free. Um, what that means is we need to address this fact. 